Hello there, Dr. Philiday here at the Amen Clinic. Uh, this is Brain Awareness Month, so we're gonna talk about um, TBI, traumatic brain injury. So, it turns out that you can have a traumatic brain injury and not really think you had one. Uh, certainly if you have a car accident and you're knocked out, you're unconscious, uh, any kind of significant head, head injury can cause, can be obvious, right? TBI, traumatic brain injury. However, you might not remember that you fell off a chair when you were three and hit your head and had a problem, or fell off a bike or ran into a tree. So we always ask people that come into the clinic, you know, have you had a head injury? And many people say, no. They're thinking, you know, I paraglided into a mountain. No, it doesn't have to be that bad. So these can add up as well. So I think CTE, traumatic encephalopathy is kind of in the press right now it's a buzzword so the NFL right is notorious for the CTE issue turns out that these effects add up over time you don't have to have a really bad head injury one time it's actually the small ones that add up that are even more dangerous so sorry to say a lot of sports fit into this category like soccer you think that's a safe sport but that constantly heading the ball, especially in girls it turns out, not good for your brain. Um, football, of course, we all know about, but some sports that you're not really thinking about head injuries happen often. Lacrosse, uh, you don't have a good helmet on, but you're bonking your head. So sports can do this. Obviously, bonking your head on in an accident can do this. So what does that do? Well, it can do a lot of things. Uh, head injuries can cause depression, anxiety, uh, ADD, dementia, a long list of things head injuries can contribute to. So we can actually see this often in our SPECT scans. You can see the health of the brain, especially the cortical scan, which is the external part of the brain. And you can reverse it with certain procedures, supplements, hyperbaric oxygen therapy. So you can get it better. We've done that. We did the biggest study ever with NFL players. Their brains did not look so good. These are retired NFL players and they got functionally better, their, their scans got better, so you can improve. Also, it turns out that in about 50% of cases of head injury, there's a dramatic hormone imbalance that happens, especially right away. Now, about 30% of those people go on to chronic hormone problems, especially growth hormone. This is usually with significant TBI. The guys coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan, you know, blast injuries, um, or severe concussions. You can have this persist for the rest of your life. And you can get off of the medications you're on if your hormones are optimized. So, but again, no one's checking that. So I check every patient that has TBI for hormone issues, again, which can be tested, treated. So if you suspect you have a problem from a head injury, a scan is a good place to start. There are ways to fix it. And again, this can have a dramatic impact on not only your future brain health, like dementia, but your current symptoms. Uh, so focus, again, anxiety, depression, can all be affected by an injury to your brain. So you really, you know, that's the one organ you really want to keep healthy the most. So this is uh, Brain Awareness Month, uh, Brain Injury Awareness Month. So just be aware, try to avoid them, first of all, if you can, but you can't always walk around with a box on your head. So. If it does happen to happen, uh, there are ways to get better.